Dr. April, thank you very much for agreeing to be interviewed. I've got a few questions for you. So, first of all, how, how did you find out about Vertlantis? Uh, well, Lind, um, the first time I heard about Fertlantis uh, it was uh, uh, in the forum, in your one of your sessions, and uh, you were talking to Poetria about Fertlantis. And at that moment, I thought, what on earth Fertlantis? Because the Fertlantis, the word Fertlantis, uh, uh, just reminded me of Atlantis. And after. Uh, hearing it uh, after having he heard it uh, a couple of times in your session uh, then I, I was uh, a bit curious uh, and uh, that was then the first time that I joined Second Life and uh, try to find try to find to find out about Atlantis and what was your first impression of Atlantis when you when you first came here I was a little bit uh, worried actually because uh, I think how can I start it? Uh, can I join them? So your first impressions were you were a little terrified by the sounds of it. Uh, what changed your mind? Uh, I was uh, in Second Life with, uh, with you actually uh, for uh, reading a book in your place, in your home. And then you started with um, Back to basic, I see. It's not just back to basics you do now. I think you attend other sessions now. So back to basics kind of um, made you realise it's not that scary. Uh, and what other sessions do you attend now in Vertlantis? Uh, well, um, back to basics, as uh, the, the, the sentence said, it is basic. So I, I wasn't afraid uh, to join that. But then... Uh, it started uh, with the uh, French uh, for beginners. Uh, I think I know a little bit uh, of uh, French, but I don't think I, I've, uh, I've ever said that. <laughs> Sorry, I've, uh, I've not. Uh, I don't uh, speak uh, French uh, enough to join the advance. But then uh, uh, Sam and uh, Jeff uh, started with the French for beginners. So I think, oh, then I can. Uh, uh, joined that uh, and that's all that's, but that's why uh, I don't um, that was it, it is not because I'm not interested in any other uh, session or any other uh, languages or uh, uh, whatever uh, Fairland is organized here it is just also because uh, lack of time and uh, uh, maybe in the in the next time, in the future, maybe I will uh, join the, any other uh, session. So, how has learning a language in a virtual environment like this affected your your experience of language learning? Um, that is a difficult question, Lynn. Uh, for me. Uh, it is. Uh, it has a good uh, impact. Uh, I really improve my uh, knowledge of uh, those languages. Uh, uh, and before we stop this uh, interview, I want to say something to Kip and all the volunteers, uh, as you, uh, Lind, and all the teachers uh, who are uh, very kind. I, I, and, and the one thing I have to say also in Fertland is they are always very nice. I was always uh, uh, invited and, and accepted uh, nicely and uh, it makes us as, uh, as uh, new members uh, um, easily to, 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 to cope, uh, to join. <laughs> yeah. And um, uh, so I want to thank Skip and you know, all of you for uh, all the, your efforts uh, to make us uh, more easily to, with our second life. Well, I'd like to thank you for agreeing to be interviewed and for being a participant in the activities here. The activities are here for you guys and you're the ones that really make it. We just organise it. <laughs> so, uh, thank you once again and yeah, we'd better stop now and let you uh, get back to real life. Bye! Thank you, Lynn. I'm looking forward to joining new activities and uh, meeting new friends and uh, I will uh, certainly come and speak with the world. <laughs> Bye!